So they had decided that this was Jesus. And that this 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 was what well, it was God's son. Yes, right? God created this from His own seed. Well, this is what Marco Allegro's his research was pointing to. He was trying to say that what was really going on was these people were trying to hide a lot of what the psychedelic rituals are from the Romans and from the people that captured them. So they hid them in stories and parables. And then there was all sorts of problems in the translations. It's just like you know you're taking things from ancient Hebrew and you're breaking it down to Latin and you're breaking it down to German and English and I can't uh, I can't believe he got a positive reception for this. If you're taking well, he on ne- didn't necessarily he uh, the book got bought out okay by the Catholic Church and then recently reinstated and then what do you mean bought uh, out it they bought it they like they I think they took it off the market I think you used to be able to only get a uh, copy of it you used to only be able to get a um, like a, a used copy okay of it. and then Jan Irvin put it out he republished it like a few I don't want to say maybe eight, ten years ago. So now you can get a hold. But he also published another book after they took that one back. Well, I think, I, I don't know the, the total history of it, but he published a second book. And the, the second book was the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Christian Myth. And the first one was the Sacred Mushroom and the Cross. Wow. So, but it only makes sense. If you think about people who lived back then, and we know that psychedelic mushrooms aren't recent. They right, existed forever. Yes. Right? So if these people found them, and they most certainly did, yes. there's a lot of depictions of them. And there's also a lot of iconography and a lot of... Um, like, like you, you see shapes that resemble mushrooms like all over the place in some of the ancient artwork and even people that are dancing naked under the influence of a mushroom. So there's a translucent mushroom shape that surrounds them and these ancient paintings and these religious paintings, these people are dancing. So most likely they were tripping balls. Well, if you didn't know any better, of course you would think that's God yeah. talking to you. If you didn't know what psilocybin is, you didn't know what dimethyltryptamine is, you didn't know what any of these things are. Well, you're also going to hear voice, literal voices. Yes, literal so voices. So it's not even that you're like, it's not a metaphor. You're going to hear right. a voice talking to you. Right. So people that think that like these people who created religion were all liars, they're probably more likely trippers. Because if you look at all these religious stories, they're all crazy and weird and fantastical and wonderful. But- most of them are like guides to live life in a more virtuous or pious or moral way, right? That's what most sure the tenets of a lot of these yes. religions. Well, that's what you get when you trip. You, when you you trip, you you get you got to be a better person. Yeah, okay, that's what yeah. you get. You get this like profound humili- uh, uh, humbling, I shouldn't say humiliation, but humbling in the face of this titanic expression and, 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 and experience that you can't even describe with words. And then after it's over, you want to be a better person. And there's also a sense of comfort yes. that it's going to be okay. Yes, it's going to be Which okay. Which is what religion traditionally gives a lot of people, like yeah. a sense of reassurance that someone's looking out, you're not going to accidentally, you know, go. It's not into- even that. It's a, You get a feeling that even if it's not okay, it's okay. R- right. Yes. Like when you die, it's okay. Like yeah. That, when you trip balls, like one of the things that Larry Hagman say, remember Larry Hagman from Dallas? That, that is, that guy? I will say Dallas is probably the greatest show of all time. Great fucking show. That is, and people confused with Dynasty, which was trashy. Garbage. Dallas was one of <laughs> the, was, I think it's literally the best show of all time, in my opinion. What was his name? J.R. What was his name? Ewing. Ewing. That's right. Well, he tripped balls and talked about it on CNN and said that it was one of the best experiences of his life because he w- no longer was afraid of death. That right? Before that, he was afraid of death. And the one thing that tripping, and tripping hard apparently, really did for him is that he no longer held that fear. And he had stared death in the face because of his alcoholism. You mm-hmm. know, he had to have a liver transplant or whatever it was. So it was no joke. Yeah. He was a huge alcoholic. He had a dope house that was for sale in Topanga. And unfortunately, I wasn't on the market for a house, but I would love to buy that guy's house. That show had, I think, the funniest line of all time, which is Victoria Principal, who's like the good uh, was Pam, come into his office. She's the good guy, right? And she's yelling at JR, and he would look at her with a straight face, like he would never wink. And he, I, I'm going to get it backwards. Or he goes, Pam, I've always thought you were stupid. I never made a, any you know mistake about that, but I never thought you were crazy too. It was just like, <laughs> holy shit, total beast. <laughs> He was a good bad guy. Yeah. He was one of the first bad guys on TV, like Tony Soprano type dudes oh, that yeah. you like rooted for. Right. Because the show, the villain was Cliff Barnes. So it was about a evil person versus a bad, in, in the sense of low quality person. His enemy wasn't a good person. He was just this loser who was jealous of JR. So it was very right. smart to have bad versus evil as opposed to good versus bad. Yes. It was so good. Good fucking show. Yeah. Back in the day when there was only like five shows on TV. Yeah, five cha- four channels. If that, 
during JR? Wasn't that three? three. It was three. Fox came later. Yeah. Yes. No, no. It, I mean, it lasted from what, 78 to 1990, I think. So Fox was around by then, but yeah. Yeah. Fox was around when I was in high school. Uh, that's what's crazy about The Simpsons. Simpsons was on from day one. It was so good. They're so it used, great. It's, you think it's watchable? Yes. It's like fan fiction at this I point. I love it. You still watch it? Love it. Do you still watch it? If it comes on, I see it, I the, watch it. The rerun or the new one? Whatever's on. I'm not picky. Okay, I'm very picky. The old ones were amazing. The old ones were amazing. My favorite one ever was when Homer ate the uh, hot peppers well, that and went into that fucking dream. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, there's a shock twist. That's your favorite episode. I never saw that. I could have loved that. it. But the it chili so, pepper. Yeah. yeah, it was so off the charts weird. Have you ever done the ride at Universal? No, it's that. It's amazing. Wait, they have the Homer peppered ride? They have a full on virtual reality ride at Universal Studios based on The Simpsons and is one of my favorite rides of all time. Okay. It's fucking amazing. Yeah. I'll give you some spoiler alerts. Okay. The little kid becomes giant. A lot of crazy shit happens, explosions, you're on a roller coaster. It's nuts. It's so fun. It's wow. so good. Okay. It's so good. So good. Okay. It's psychedelic. It's, it's chaos. It's And it's The Simpsons. That's, that's you never seen it? No. See if you can pull up a video of what it looks like to ride. I think it used to be the Back to the Future ride, didn't it? Oh, is that Did it? it? Mm, I think so. What? Well, they, they at least ran it the same way. I don't. They know just if, made Marty into Bart. If the thing like <laughs> maybe they have both there and they go back. I don't know. I'm just talking ass right, right now. I don't really I have no idea if that's true. Huh. But I remember the Back to the Future ride too. Not you thinking about it. Apparently they just redid the uh, Jurassic Park ride too. That's supposed to be cool. But the Simpsons ride is amazing. It's so good. It's so good because it's all virtual. You're not going anywhere. You're sitting still, but you swear to God, you're in a you're on a oh, roller coaster those. and you're flying. Is it like one of those where the seat moves too and mm-hmm. shit? Oh, I yeah. love that shit. And you're you're in front of this massive high definition screen. Yeah, and yeah. The in- incredible graphics. Do you put the glasses on too? I don't think you do. Oh, okay. I don't remember though. I don't remember. I did something I like that in Orlando. In it was years. really cool. The sh- the best one. The best one is uh, the Avatar one at Disney World. Okay, it's Flights of Passion. That's fucking incredible. That's ne- so total next level. I saw some Disney dorks on YouTube reviewing like the new Star Wars ride that yeah. just opened up. They said it's v- very close to, if not maybe better than that. <gasps> wow. Which I, don't, I don't know like what the ride was or what they did. but Blasphemy. I'm sure it's good. It's supposed to be 20 minutes long too. Oh, okay. This new Star, Star Wars. This so is this, the- is, this is the Simpsons ride. Like a bunch of st- stuff happens okay. to you. Yeah, I'll try to skip out of here. You get into a car. That's what I remember. Yeah. The oh. car part was the thing. Yeah, that let was this like go. Back to the future. Let this. Go. Yeah, you play it here. So all this crazy shit is happening right in front of you, and you're. It's just fun. It's just. A, it's a really good one. Who dope? <laughs> it's really fun, dude. Oh, and it's coming right at you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're, 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 I'm sure the chair's shaking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. That was so see. much fun. What was the other one we were just looking at? Oh, the Disney World yeah, Avatar Disney. ride. The Disney World Avatar ride, you, cl- you climb onto this thing that looks like a motorcycle. Okay. And then they put goggles on you, put this like, helmet in, strap you in place, little, literally lock your legs in place. And all of a sudden, you're on a dragon. And you're on a dragon in 